In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how, at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Hello fellow friends, welcome to a new video, a new game of mine, I'm Jordan. This is a video of the game that has been well anticipated, that is Medieval. For those who have checked before in my channel, I've done this playthrough before, like uh, a, a, a few a, like a few playthroughs before, from the original PlayStation 1, and this is the remaster version, remaster, remake, whatever you want to call it of the that same game of truth of 1998 so 21 years later the game came comes back to life for the playstation 4 and actually i managed to get the deluxe edition of this same game so uh, it's the digital digital one so it comes with a little extras on the way and i'm really really into this one to play this one um the playthrough I made before, God of War 2018, I was not not thinking about making a new playthrough along the way, but yeah, I decided to make this like um, another one, maybe this one, and probably ending with the God of War 3 because people already asked me to do it, so, but I thought this was like more eager to do it, so here I am doing this playthrough of Medieval 2019 for the PlayStation 4. A well placed shield has saved many an ill placed hero. Okay, so uh, I don't think I need like to make an explanation about this game because I think that many people already know what this game relates because it's like 21 years old and this is like the second remake cross remaster of this game because I'm counting with the 
PSP letdown, I mean, it's not such a big letdown, but I did not like pretty much as the original one. And now I'm gonna, I hope I like this one as good as the original uh, PlayStation 1 version. So, let's see, options, what do we have? Vibration still on, bottom layout, uh, yeah, the show subtitles, color branding. Okay, everything continues the same. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's the same freaking laugh as the original one! The laugh maintains this exactly the same! Daniel Fortis Q. Is, it, is Zarak the same voice as the or as the original one? I know it was on the PSP the original voice, but I do not know if it's the same as this one here. Alright, so first level just came up. Done script. Rise and shine then. Looks like you've got a second chance and this whole hero thing. Okay, the low screen is kind of a bit fast. It has risen again. Oh, it's the same voices! Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. It's exactly the same voices. And who's better? Hmm. What the hell? Oh. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. Hmm. A chance to defeat Zarak and live up to the legend. We hope it as well. Okay, so the voices are are the same, and it seems that did exactly the same lines and pausing and everything. So that is a bit weird. Walk up to the book and press triangle to read it. Okay, read the book. You must be out of shape after one hundred years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips <laughs> with your new lease on life. Well, at least I don't have to read it. Someone else has reading my ring my stuff. Oh, now I can come here. Oh, someone is has been leaving money behind. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay, so I so what? Uh, wait. Hmm. Can I? Button layout. Modern controls. Switch. So, block here. Secondary shots. Primary. Uh, primary. Secondary. Okay. Jump. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put like the original. Um. Uh, swamp target. Huh? Swamp tar strafe. Alright, I'm gonna put the, the classic controls because I, I'm more relate to the, those controls here. Okay, so this one seems way much better now. You will find life bottles throughout Galamere. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, Using this bottle will help you feel a little. Yeah, yeah. I already know this. This bo life bottle will actually give me more life, so there I don't need actually kind of that. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an. All right. So I need the key to open that creep. That creepy shit. There's like a secret door here, so I just need like a club or something like that. What is this? Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need money to change with the gargles. Uh. Oh, throwing daggers. Okay, this will be good. What is this? 
Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, I got the store key. This is still water. And remember that Sir Dino Fortress key is just a pile of bones, so it doesn't, fl it doesn't like stand over water. Open chest. And here is the sword. Okay, so actually I, f I found this really good because this now in this game I can actually quick change like in for those who do not remember on the on the original um, During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items to see your items or to use one Okay, so in the original uh, Medieval you cannot like switch weapons like I uh, did not have quick select so every time you have to switch weapons you have to go into this little menu here and have to choose your weapon and now and now you just can like just put two weapons like in quick quick select like in like I don't remember who else played medieval 2 so in medieval 2 you can actually have this also quick select here but instead of like R1 or triangle with the modern controls, you could just like press uh, R2 and square or Alt L2 and square. I don't quite remember which one it is. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the X. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. So I'm now going out of my little crib here. Okay, so this is the map of Galomir. And we just traced down. Okay, the map is, looks really good. Let me just like navigate. Can I like navigate through the map? Come on! You really do not allow me to navigate through the map? Oh, come on, really? Alright, alright, alright. So let's go into the graveyard. This is the original. This is like the second level, the level of. Take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. So this is the the first level out of the like playthrough more or less of the game. So this is the first level where we fight enemies. Oh, I can break this now. No. What more can I break? So the I, I play I actually played your the, the demo just that came out because it said that I could get the dance helmet weak against arrows and everything else so this helmet is like qu quite useless because if I helmet helmet equipped cursed your enemies are now more deadly so I don't see any purpose at all for me to wear this little helmet here if they're gonna be like stronger and super armor equipped. I don't think this actually does anything, but this is like uh, um, the armor it does use, not counting the helmet, the helmet of course. But this is the armor they use in Medieval 2 after like a while playing, and you get this super armor that it like gets stronger. You can like actually equip, um, use power ups, and as like like one extra bar, like an armor, something like that. Whoa. New book. Okay, do, do, there are like st stuff that appears in, like really quick in the in the in the screen that I I just like Welcome managed to read just to a few the first Kenya. words. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. So let me just like check. The, what is this? Mean? What is this anyway? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, boy. So the controls doesn't seem so bad at all. It, they seem like very, very nice. Like, I mean, compared to the original one. But his swings are like... <laughs> he's like fighting like he doesn't know how to swing a sword. He's like swinging like a little coward. Like, he's supposed to like be a little coward. Like... What? Get out of here! Get out of here, motherfucker! Uh, 
Uh, R1? Why is it not working? That okay, thank you. light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs. But when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks. But he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because in the original one, this little wisp here you know, only appear when you had like ranged weapons, and now he appears like with melee weapons also, like when like on the PSP version. So it seems they maintain that same situation here. Ah, oh, your skills and your key. So they managed to just stay the same in the as the PSP they mix a bit of the original one in the PSP version. So this is to restore life bars. So probably the book will tell me that. Zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Oh, I can feel life getting restored again. Wait a second. I just, uh, I just noticed there, like, the icon over uh, in the top left corner changes when my wisp points at something. Like, now it's normal and now it's like, afraid or surprised faced. Let me see how it is when I see like an enemy over me. Okay, he's now scared. Now, it's like a face, a scary face, but is he, I think it's the same, same face. Let me check this one. Okay, it changed like worry because I don't have the key. So like, what what the hell is going on? I don't have the key. All right, so let's go find the key. Like sad. So when range weapons is equipped, L1 to change armor or enemy. Haha! Is it just me or it just shoots faster now? I think it throws daggers faster than the original, actually. So, uh, what is this? Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So L2 uh, can name Nancam, right? So got money. So the game is actually looks very very nice, very very li vivid. Uh, as I said, I played the demo already, so this is not a, a new level for me. And until now, it's quite it's quite nice. It's not. Whoa! 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 Get out! Yeah. Still alive. Still alive. Okay. Everything's dead now. But here. Hmm. Oh, I can see the these little spirits going into the chalice mode. So I I do remember where the chalice is. So this is actually a nice effect that the the souls goes into the chalice that is over there. So let me remember, see. nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Nothing remains hidden at the gate of an angel. Okay, in the PS1 version, I actually thought this is like some weird statue. It didn't seem like an angel. At least when I was a young kid, this, it seems like more of a demon than an angel itself. And I cannot still get like the chalice. So, in the PSP version, I could actually get it, uh, which I don't need actually to get all the souls. I can just grab it. Is the chalice. Every time you so every time you kill enemies, the souls go into this chalice, and this is like 78% to be completed. So I can grab once it's 100%, I can grab the chalice over here, and at the end of the level, I'll just go into the hall of heroes, which will give me access to a new weapon actually. Which on this level, um, it'll be the crossbow I think. Yeah, I know. I, I used to play this game a, a, 
I used to play a lot of this game when I was a kid, so I probably know the, all this game in like all as you, I've shown. But I still need to get along with these new controls. The controls are really swift, so they're, it's really easy to control them in, compared to the original one, but I mean, 21 years after. The controls are the same, exactly the same, the controls are, there's nothing new, there's nothing about the new the level, it's exactly the same, I, I bet there's like, yeah, still the treasure here, the treasure is still here, uh, so there's actually nothing new about the game, this is more about the nostalgia actually, but until now the game is really really nice, and I'm really, in, really like curious to see how it how will it be uh, in the Hall of Heroes. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Right, so the game. So I'm really curious because the, this game actually ends the demo ends at the end of this level, and unlike the original demo on the PlayStation One. Will end like it had time, so you had to be quick on on playing the game. Whoa, 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 whoa! You had to be quick on playing the game, um, and would actually end up when you reach the the boss, the demon glass boss. And in here, in this one, it will actually end after we beat this level. So I was actually really disappointed, but I was not going to download the demo. The demo. I don't play demos anymore. The only reason I download the demo. Uh, it was because it said it was a limited time, and who beat the demo and find this little helmet here uh, would actually download itself to the, to the full game. So this this helmet here, which basically I'm not going to use it at all, um, is for uh, is on the um, it's only to those who played the original demo. That will come only out for a limited time. I think I don't think it's already is still available to download Feel anymore. Free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can laugh about me, but I'm still gonna be the hero here. So I can go here and is there something? Oh, huh, there's a sarcophagus here. All right. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. Oh. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Do they just like? Oh, I couldn't see that in the original one. It's actually really nice this, uh, to see the mausoleum far away from here. But all the mighty heroes are cel celebrated here. They aren't the os they aren't so interested of being friends just yet. Slay a Zarok for blah 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 blah. Huh. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Ah, don't worry, mate. I will do that. I will manage to to do that. Huh? So the church, the merchant is now here. Hmm. So you now have a merchant here in the Hall of Heroes. New book. Let's see. Sir Daniel Fortescue, our bone-headed protagonist, born again into the into this age of wonders. In life, he was just the worst. A coward, a cheat, a philatelist. Or was it a philanderer? I don't recall. But either way, he seems to have woken up. Different, perhaps? He can redeem himself. Zarok should be more careful where he, are, where he aims his dark magic. Our bone-headed protagonist. Oh, really? To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Oh. 
So here we're going back to the statues. Ha! Ah, there's a chalice. And uh oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, sorry, sorry! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Grab it! Grab it for this cube! Oh, freaking shit! Uh oh! Great for this cube! Look at the shit you've done! You just you just arrived and you're throwing chal chalices on the floor. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Speak to hero. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. Easy. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. <laughs> I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kada. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. Huh. Get on with it. Anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir? Oh. Goodbye, sir. Huh. Did not allow me to actually just accept it. Is yes or no? Ah. So now the weapon just now vanished from the statue itself and goes to me. Well, that was a nice, actually a nice touch they did. Was really, really nice, actually. And there it shows the number of chalice that I caught, I think. I mean, it just shows one. So here's the broadsword. And the hammer over there. Let me see here. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Oh! Oh! Okay, so the challenge will remain in the, onto the floor. I'm not gonna get it, because I don't care. And let's get out of here. Leave the Hall of Heroes. Yes. Oh, it doesn't show like me just appearing like in the original one. It was a really nice touch. Hmm. All right. So. Ah. So here we are in the entrance and cemetery hill. Ah. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to pause here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to raise your subscribe and hope you enjoyed this video of me starting with a new game, Medieval for the PlayStation 4, which sounds really nice until now, but I, this is not new. This dual first level is not new for me. So from now on it will be new for me. Uh, because this was not shown in the demo now. So, to the next one guys. Bye!